Next question number is Dean Williams from Bullchamp. Hey, Josh, how's it going? How are you doing, sir? Pretty good, thanks. I um, want to ask you, we um, been talking one of the offensive linemen the other day, and then Mike Norvell uh, both specifically mentioned kind of how well you've performed so far in practice. Is there um, – is it just a function of you finally being healthy? Is it just what you're getting out of coaching? Why, what's kind of made the difference so far in camp for you? Well, one, definitely health. Uh, I feel pretty good out there, uh, pretty loose and pretty fluid, you know what I'm saying? And coaching too, uh, Coach JP, I think he's a great coach, and he'll be welcoming J Rock and all the other DNs. Next will be Terry from Tomahawk Nation. Hey, Josh, how's it going? Oh, how are you doing? Not too bad. So, you got the opportunity to participate in that roundtable the other day. And so, just kind of in your mind, what's the last 24, 72 hours, or 48 hours, sorry, I can't do math, been like just since you went from talking about protocols to seeing everything out, not trying to put you on the spot about all your other teammates or anything, but. Honestly, like the, the biggest thing I've been getting about the, the round table is people telling me that I need to get longer pants because my pants were kind of short. It was kind of the last minute, but they had me in some short pants, you know, but other than that, I mean, it's been, I've just been trying to focus on the main thing, which is be prepared for a possible season. Joshua, uh, earlier today, a couple of your, your teammates uh, went on social media and, and expressed some uh, disappointment, uh, complained a little bit about how some of the stuff's been handled. Have you had any conversations with your teammates in the last 24, 48 hours about kind of uh, what's been going on with all this? Well, I, it happened while I was in practice, so I honestly don't even know what was said and whatnot. But like I said, I was out on the field and I just came right up here, so I'm not even sure what was said. Next will be Andrea from um, Just curious, you know, some of the comments were just uh, questions about the protocols and the testing. Um, have you heard any concerns mentioned by your teammates in regards to that? And how comfortable do you feel with the transparency that the coaching staff and the administration has had there about all your protocols and testing? Well, I can only speak for myself, Joshua Kendo, and personally, I feel safe. And honestly, if I didn't, then just like everybody has a choice to be here or not be here, and I wouldn't be here if I didn't feel safe. I feel safe. I feel comfortable with the protocols. I speak for myself. So I'm just going to keep continuing to prepare, keep practicing, and keep the main thing, main thing which is right now is having a spectacular football season if it happens. As a follow-up to that, um, do you have concerns that teammates have gone on social media to express concerns as opposed to um, talking about it with the coaching staff and the administration? Like I said, I can only speak for myself and I feel safe. And if somebody else doesn't, then honestly, ask them. But I can only speak for myself. But everybody has a choice, you know? Joshua, back to uh, practice. I mean, you, you get to go up against the, the tackles, really. I know Darius has just got kind of thrown in there as a true freshman last year. You get to go up him against practice. And then, obviously, uh, transferred Vontae Love-Taylor. How, how have those guys performed so far in practice? And what, what do they bring to the table? In my opinion, the O-line has definitely got better as a whole, you know. And every day we go out there, uh, ready to get better, ready to compete with each other. You know? And I say both dudes are very solid on both sides. So hopefully they can carry over the techniques that they're learning from Coach Atkins and uh, bring it to the game this season. But it's been well, it's been very competitive. You know? Hey, Josh, you feel completely healthy at this point physically? And if so, just how much of a difference does it make in your ability to practice and just work at your craft on a daily basis compared to what you battled these last couple of years? Right now, I'm feeling pretty, pretty good. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just really happy to be able to work out with the team and be back. And 
not having nothing to hold me back, you know what I'm saying? Go out there and go full speed and not have to keep my mind on, oh, this is hurting, this, that is hurting. Keep my mind on uh, getting better, learning my plays and stuff like that. Keeping the standard, the standard, and going as hard as I can. So not only do I make myself better, I make dudes around me better, my team. Josh, I mean, I know you're, you're speaking for yourself, uh, but with what we see on social media and I mean, just the country at large, the way that people are kind of arguing over the way that this is all being handled. I mean, it's, is this spilling over to anything off the field? Like, does it feel like friendships are kind of being tested at all? Or is it still a pretty good communication between guys on the team that maybe disagree about things, but everybody still respects each other's uh, opinion? Everybody respects each other's opinion. We anticipate, we anticipate having Jaden Lars would be uh, shortly.